Symmetric and asymmetric. Symmetric, you use one key to encrypt and the same key to decrypt. Asymmetric is you use one key to encrypt, a different key to decrypt. Let's simplify it. This is the message. I love you, Granny. And then encryption algorithm, and then it becomes this. It makes no sense. Ciphertext, thank you, right? And then the hacker tries to steal this, but it makes no sense to them. But then this is the key you have to send as well to decrypt it. But the hacker can also well, capture the, the key. And once the hacker captures the key, it means they can also decrypt the message. So that's the major flaw of symmetric. And then they get love you, Granny, back on the other side. And then symmetric has a couple of strong points of strength. Number one, it is fast. It's got speed. Yeah. Yeah. So when you need to transfer bulk data and some level of security is needed, symmetric is good. But the flaw, one of the flaws is what's the same key for encryption and decryption. Key sharing is a problem. How do you get the key from one side to the other side? Unless you have to encrypt the key again with another encryption algorithm and key. Well, then you need to also send that key. Exactly. So the, the loop continues. Exactly. Now it may just take them a longer time to crack, but they will still crack it. Low overhead meaning it doesn't use too much processing power. Yeah. That's low overhead. It's fast and it's suitable for transmitting bulk data. Yeah. That's symmetric.